What up, what up, what up, y'all? Easy Silent Hustle here every day, all day, y'all. We ain't playing no games, y'all. So in this video, I am going to show you how to hook up dual monitors uh, using your Mac computer, okay? Disclaimer, I do not use the Mac computer, but I do have one that, that's old that I pulled out to use. I like my Windows, but we're going to try to go ahead and hook this up today. Um... Even though it's an older Mac, okay, y'all? So, please, please, like, comment, and, uh, and subscribe. Please, 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 like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, y'all, so y'all can see the next time I upload an upload. All right, y'all? Pay attention to this intro. All right. Silent Hustle. Yeah. If nobody ever told you, well, I say you're awesome. This is for the underrated, undiscovered bosses. Yeah, yeah, the silent hustlers. You know you a boss, ayy. Silent hustle, but you hustle hard, ayy. Y'all, we back, we back, we back, y'all. All right, so to hook up dual monitors using your Mac computer, you need a couple of things. One, if your monitors has two HDMIs, which mine's on the back of my monitor, I have HDMI on both of them and not VGA. If you have VGA, then I will tell you what piece you need for the VGA on the back of your monitor, okay? So, as far as the Mac is concerned, you're going to use, because I have a, because I have a HDMI on the back of my monitor, you're going to use a USB to HDMI. You're going to use USB to HDMI on one of the connections on your Mac computer, okay? The other one you're going to use is the HDMI, a mini display to HDMI, okay? Adapter. So you have a mini, let me see if they come in correctly. A mini, there we go, a mini um, display port, a mini display port to a HDMI adapter, okay? And then you're going to need two HDMI cores. So you have a HDMI on one end and HDMI on the other end, okay? So you're gonna need that as well. If you have VGA, just know where I'm saying HDMI, you are gonna replace the HDMI with VGA, all right? And if not, I'm gonna put a video, I have a video that I did with the um, HDMI to VGA, so you'll be able to see it here. I put a link up wherever the link goes, okay? All right, make sure, make sure before you get started, please, please install the drivers for your adapters. The mini port, the mini display port does not need the drivers. If you do, please download it. But most of them, they auto recognize that particular adapter. But when it comes to the HDMI to, v, um, to USB, you need to make sure you install the drivers before you install the, um, before you plug these in, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is, after installing the drivers and if, and if you need help installing the drivers for the um j5 create i'm gonna time stamp it at the bottom of the in the description you'll be able to see where to go to to install the drivers first okay but otherwise i'm gonna go straight into the video all right so right here where you have your usb you're gonna plug in your j5 create into your usb okay Then, on your mini display port, you're going to plug that in as well in the mini display port. Okay? Alright, so you're going to plug your USB to HDMI adapter into your USB slot. And then you're going to plug in your mini display port into your mini display port on your laptop. Okay? Once you do that, you're going to take one end of your VGA and you're going to stick it, go in, and you're going to take one end of your HDMI and then you're going to put it in the J5 Create. All right? You're going to put one end into your J5 Create and the other end of this cord, you're going to put in monitor number one, your first monitor, okay? Then you're going to put the second HDMI cord into your mini display port you're going to put it in here your first end and the other end is going to go into your second monitor okay so we're going to go ahead and hook it up and then we're going to download it and we're going to see that it works um and we'll download the driver so you can see the drivers okay all right for those that want to download the drivers for your j5 create go ahead and go to google and type in um download j5 create j5 create drivers okay go ahead and type in download j5 create drivers 
Once you download, once you click on there, then go ahead and click on download drivers right here. All right. And once this page come up, page, go ahead and scroll down to your HDMI, the USB adapter. And mine's is the, uh, JU, let me see, JUJA 25254. So we're going to scroll down. We're looking for a USB to HDMI adapter. And once you scroll down, hold on. Let's see. Here we go. Two nine one nine five. I have two five four. All right, right here. So right here where you see um JUA two five four is the type of adapter I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Mac drivers. Once it go here, just go ahead and let it download and it's downloading now. All right, and once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on Finder up down at the bottom. Click on Finder, and once you click on Finder, click on Finder. Once you click on Finder, you'll see the file that you did download. Again, let me go back because it, I went out fast, so let me go back. What I did was I went to Finder, and once I went to Finder, I saw all the files that I have. J5 Create was the first thing. I opened that file up. Once I opened that file up, this file came back. This this particular screen comes up, okay? Once you double click and open up, this screen opens up, okay? So now you're going to go ahead and hit continue. You'll be guided through the steps necessary to install your software. Go ahead and hit continue. Go ahead and hit continue. Hit continue. And then hit continue. And install. Don't worry about that, y'all. I told y'all my um <laughs> need update, and I haven't used this Mac in a minute. Go ahead and hit continue installation. Put your password in. I don't even know my password. This is not good. Once you do that, hit install software. Go ahead and let it finish installing. All right, and once you do that, go ahead and click restart. But I'm going to stop my recording, and I'm going to hit restart, okay, you guys? Had some technical difficulties, y'all. So, all right. So, once you go ahead and install, and once you install the drivers, I'm going to put it at the end of the clip. Make sure you go ahead and plug up the cords that I was saying earlier. Here we go again. Go ahead and plug up your USB. Go ahead and plug up your HDMI cords into each one of your slots that's going into each monitor, okay? Once you plug them in, let's see. Let's see what happens. Once you plug them in, it should automatically come up. If we got one done, and this one has does not say I can tell it's on. Let's go into the display. Let's see which one that is. So the one that came up is the one that the one that came up is the one that is the display port. The one that came up is the mini display port. Once I turned around my camera, this one is not on yet. So we're going to go into the display setting on the laptop and see if we can go ahead and fix that issue. Okay. Click on the Apple and then we're going to go to the system preference. Okay. Once you go here, we're going to actually go to display. We're going to go to displays. On displays, let's see. All right. And when we get here, we're going to click on arrangement. Once you click on display, click on arrangement. And then here you'll see your displays that they recognize so far. Let me try to plug it in and see if it actually pops up. So I'm plugging the J5 Create in. All right. And there's the third one right here. All right. Every time I plug it in, you guys, it actually freezes. So let me see if I can rotate this USB into another port. Okay. So I'm actually going to move the USB. All right. So the issue is not the course let's see so every time i plug it up it freezes let me think for a second you guys all right i'm gonna be right with you once i find out what my issue was okay all right y'all so every time i plug in the j5 create the mac computer freezes even though the mini display port works fine okay so when i plug it up it works it works fine but the j5 create doesn't it freezes 
Um, what I'm about to do is when I was installing the drivers, even though I didn't have this hooked up, I had this into the Mac. I had it hooked into the Mac, even though I did not have this hooked up. So what I just did was I took it away completely and I'm going to let you know if it works once I install the drivers again. Okay. So I'm going to reinstall the drivers and we're going to go from there. All right, y'all. So what I'm going to do is one more thing. When I went to all files and I opened the download, the drivers for that unit, I'm going to actually click on this folder versus this box. I'm going to click on this folder here and see if I can reinstall or install another version of the drivers. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking my laptop might be, I mean, my Mac might be an old Mac. And so maybe I need to do it a different way. So that's what we're going to try now. All right, we're going to go ahead and allow the, to open it. Let's go to systems. Uh, what is it? Privacy. So we're going to go to privacy and then we're going to allow it to, um, install different apps. So let's see right here, apps block open anyway and open. All right. So that, so we are able to install it cause it was blocked from installing that particular one right there. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and do it. Now we're going to hit here. We're going to, okay, let me do it again. Continue. We already opened it, you guys. So I'm just hitting continue. I didn't have to do the process again. Continue, continue. So the thing, and remember my J5 create is not installed. It's not plugged into the laptop. Okay. Put your password. So I'm not for sure if this is the version that I needed cause it appears to be an older version for the J5 create for the Mac computer. My thought process, it has to be something with the drivers that's causing it to freeze. I personally don't think it's the Mac because I don't have anything on the Mac pretty much because I never use the Mac. Now there's a possibility that I should have uninstalled the first one I installed, but we're going to see what happened and see if it overrides the first one I installed. Otherwise I would have to uninstall the first one I installed to install this second one I just did, but we're going to see before I do it. Okay. So now we're going to restart the computer and I of course will be back with you once the computer restarts. Let me stop the recording. All right, y'all, we bet, we bet, we bet. So I had to reinstall the drivers because I put this into the computer even though I did not have the HDMI cord hooked up. So now let's go ahead and hook up the USB into the Mac and the HDMI cord right here and the other end to monitor number one. We're gonna hook up the mini port display into the Mac and then we're gonna hook up the HDMI into here and the other end into the monitor number two. And let's see what happens, okay? Um, the only reason why I kept going because I feel like a lot of people may have the same issue and I don't want to fake the phone like it actually worked and it didn't. So I rather show you the issues that I did have to be very transparent. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and plug this up and we're going to see if it freezes up now. Um, my laptop, I mean, my camera battery is dead, so I'm gonna have to record with my phone. So I'm gonna show you a screenshot now on where show you a screenshot of, hold on one second. All right, so right here we have where the is working on one and not the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up now after I installed that other version. Let's see if it freezes. All right, so we plugged it in. Let's see what happens now. All right, oh my God. Yeah, we in heaven. Silent hustle, yeah. If nobody ever told you, well, I say you're awesome. This is for the underrated, undiscovered bosses. Yeah, yeah, the silent hustlers. You know you a boss, ayy. Silent hustle, but you hustle hard, ayy.